boxing fans, boxing critics, and boxing analysts. BKFC fans, critics, and analysts. Renee Box Young, what is good? Salute from the South. One love. Thank you so much for liking, subscribing, sharing, supporting. Thank you for tuning in into my lives. Um, go check out my latest live, man, with uh, Curtis Anderson, a.k.a. The Historian. Amazing gems that were dropped in that live. Go check it out. You have to after this video. Go do it. What are you doing? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Thank you guys so much for your support, man. Let's get right to it. Mike Tyson receives massive offer to fight Bare Knuckle for BKFC. Official Instagram account, link in the description. As you can see, I follow it. I've been following it. I've been covering it. I've been covering BKFC, the sport, for a while now uh, in my channel, okay? If you haven't known, go back to my videos. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I made a, a, a channel with just BKFC, so um, go check it out. I'm sorry, um, uh, a playlist, so go check it out. Um, I've been covering this, and I have been saying, guys... And gals, I have been saying that BKFC is going to grow. They're going to continue attracting big names. Um, it's just going to grow, guys. This sport is going to grow. I love the boxing elements that the squared circle. I have been saying the same thing. Um, but if this is new to you, you know what I'm saying, as far as my channel bringing this content out, I've been saying it for a while. And I've been saying that, you know, the sport brings amazing boxing elements in the squared circle. Um, that's why I watch it. That's why I like the sport. I just do not approve of the gore. You know what I mean? It's really, really graphic and bloody. But, hey, it's part of it, right? So, But um, I just kind of you know, block that out. And I focus more on the boxing skills and uh, craft that's brought into the squared circle. So I love it. Now, Mike Tyson is, is you know, he, he was offered a, a crazy offer. Now, you know, go to the Twitter account of Bare Knuckle Fighting, okay, uh, BKFC. And here we can see that... Um, you know, there's an article. That article leads to this, heavy.com. Links in the description of all these, uh, you know, sites and things. Um, check it out. Let me X out all these announcements, annoying announcements. It says Mike Tyson receives massive offer, same title. But I want to go down here. It says former undisputed heavyweight boxing champion Mike Tyson has gotten himself into fantastic shape at 53 years old. Uh, Tyson's fitness and willingness to perform in boxing exhibitions has many in the combat sports world looking into his availability for competition. Now, there's a big distinction, guys. I got I to gotta bring my analysis on this and I, my opinion. There's a big distin distinction between... Uh, to will uh, his his being in shape uh, to to perform in boxing ex exhibitions, which is like sparring, a little bit of protection there. It's totally different from uh, you know his availability for real competition in combat sports. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, I'm gonna get my input in a moment. Okay, so now check this out: Bare Knuckle Fighting Championship, guys. The president David Feldman. I broke him down too a while ago when I presented BKFC on my channel. It says Feldman has made. Tyson, a guaranteed 20 million offer to fight for BKFC. I'm telling you guys, the sport is growing. They got the money. You know, they're they're growing. I mean, it, uh, last video I made uh, well, with the I made an analysis on uh, if I remember, it's Josh Burns Shoemaker, Sam Shoemaker versus Josh Burns. Okay, I explained there that that fight. Um, if I'm not mistaken, it was in that video. Obviously, it didn't come to pass because this quarantine stuff, man. So. Um, I explained that, you know, it's the, that was planned, that event was planned, and obviously there were more fights in that, in that and uh, there were more fights scheduled. Um, BKFC 11, if I'm not mistaken. Um, the venue, guys, is the biggest, was the, you know, the plan for the venue for that date, that event was the biggest venue to date for BKFC. So, I mean, it's just going to keep growing, you guys. They got the money, they got, you know, they're growing, they're getting, they're getting a lot of traction, so... So they offered twenty million, man, for to t Tyson. I mean, now this is cool because it says with an option to choose his opponent. So I mean, he can choose. Now, I broke it down several times in my video of the fighters, heavyweight potential fighters. Uh, you know that 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 is in BKFC. I broke this down too recently. With, when I I constantly do it, but I did it recently with uh, Shannon Briggs. We know that Shannon Briggs is also in the mix with BKFC. I broke that down also. Um, so I think uh, it would be interesting. But it would be really, really challenging, and it would be kind of, you know, he Mike Tyson would take a lot of punishment, man, at his age to fight Shannon Briggs, BKFC. I think, you know, he's going to, if he can choose, I mean, I mean, there are several people to choose from, but they're all young. I mean, maybe not too young, but some are younger than others. And in their, you know, in their prime, I guess we can say, in BKFC, Arnold Adams, amazing defensive skill, amazing defensive skills. I don't know, man. The thing is, is that, 
okay, let me break this part down. Mike, okay, uh, the squared circle, okay, in BKFC favors Mike Tyson's style. That that that's the thing there. That's the thing we got to pay attention to. The squared circle um, favors Mike Tyson's style because the squared circle is small. It doesn't give too much room for you to you know run around, uh, use footwork. You know what I'm saying? It, there is room, but not too much, at least. It's when you compare it to a boxing ring, you know what I'm saying? So that favors Mike Tyson and his flat-footedness and, you know, willingness to, you know, take advantage, uh, you know, and cut the cut the, cut the the distance between him and his opponent, opponent. you know, when he does that left-right, left-right, boom, 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 real quick. I mean, that, that definitely favors Mike Tyson's style, the, the squared circle. So, I mean... Mm, to do damage to his opponent, so I mean that that would be a, that's a factor there, a big factor, an advantage for Mike Tyson. But Arnold Adams has amazing defense. I mean, just his head work, man, his upper body movement—it's kind of like a Canelo, like a heavyweight Canelo to a certain extent. Um, you know what I'm saying? So if 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 it comes, if he chooses, I mean, you know, Sam Schumacher though, Sam Shoemaker, he's a tough opponent, man. He uses that squirts. He boxes amazingly. He uses one of my favorites in BKFC. Chase Sherman also is really good for his age. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, you know, spitting out some quick, you know, Joe Riggs, if I'm not mistaken, he's pretty good too. Um, you know, so I mean you got some you got some good opponents here, you guys. So I don't know who he would choose. You got Shannon Briggs recently signed too. Joey Beltron, I'm sure Mike Tyson would smash. I mean, that, I don't think that's a question right there. You know, all due respect to Joey, but I think just Mike Tyson would obliterate him. But um, you know, because of his style, you know. But um, you know, not all big KFC fighters attract me or anything like that. But when it comes to heavyweights, you know, contemplating heavyweights for Mike Tyson, I mean, there's a couple out there, but not too many, man. I, I just because because why, guys? Because look at his age. I mean, yes, he's fast. You know, a lot of people. You know, this is the thing. Let me get to this article real quick. I want to. I want to. I want to tell you guys something. It says something here. Yeah, it says okay. While we did make an, a guaranteed offer of 20 million for Mike Tyson to fight for BKFC. This is the owner of BKFC, if I'm not mistaken, David Feldman explaining. Um, it says, um, open too many. Okay, so we're open to many different options. I think Tyson should take those different options, guys. I don't think he should be fighting anymore, man. I mean, and again, it says here, obviously, the excitement of seeing Mike's video showing himself training and desire to participate in exhibitions inspired us to. It's, I mean, it's inspiring in everybody. It's inspiring everybody, not just BKFC. That's the thing I was going to get to in a moment ago. Everybody is getting just too hyped up. The same thing, same concept with, um, you know, same concept and situation happens and scenario happens with Floyd Mayweather. They see, I mean, there are little clips, you know, this has happened for years and years ever since he retired. You see clips of him running down the street, jogging. I talked, we were, me and uh, Curtis Anderson salute once more to Curtis Anderson. We talked about it in my latest live about this, one part at least. So many things were talked about, but um, one of them was that, that you, you have a little clip of, of, of Mayweather running or him with a pair of gloves or him hitting a bag in the gym. The whole world just go, oh my gosh, is he coming back? And who's he going to fight? And who would you like to see him fight? You know what I mean? It's just people get a little bit too excited and, you know, don't just, you know, just sit back a little bit, analyze things, be analytical, don't let your emotions take over. Too much of a, I don't know, I don't know the term, but I remember back in the day, we used to, you know, joke around sometimes and, uh, you know, uh, me and the friends. And, you know, there's a phrase that is, it's said like this, easily amused, easily confused. I'm not saying that's how it is with everyone, you know what I'm saying? But people just get a little bit too hyped up and carried away over a little video, you know what I mean? Mike Tyson is just training, you know, he's getting in shape. That's great for him. But why are people now saying, oh my gosh, he's coming back and he's going to take over the heavyweight division now. He can beat the hot, top heavyweights and, you know what I mean? It's just too much, man. It's just too much. You know, use your mind, guys, everybody, you know what I'm saying? Community, we got to use our mind a little bit and reflect on the realistic, you know, be realistic here. Um, now, you know, just just crazy reports coming out lately with these videos. Not just with this video, guys. Not just with this video. I mean, this has been coming out years ago, ever since you've seen him in, you know, in public places, showing com his combos and people saying, oh, Mike Tyson still got it and is he coming back? And you know what I'm saying? It's been for a while. This is not just, it's not just from this video. You know what I'm saying? Maybe for the BKFC owner, right? Maybe for Mr. Feldman, yes. But like for the world, no, because for the world, it's been, this has been the topic for a long time. You know, ever since, you know, ever since these videos have been coming out of him, you know, showing combos and stuff to UFC fighters or whatever, right? I don't, I don't know the details of all those other videos, but um, you know, it's just people getting too hyped up, getting a little bit too emotional. I think that uh, personally, that offer is amazing, but like, I think uh, Mike Tyson should choose working behind the scenes with BKFC, helping it grow a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? 
um, because it says here we're open to many different options as to how we can work together. Maybe maybe Feldman is referring to like he can work with the promotional aspect of BKFC. Maybe he can work in you know being a commentator. Maybe he can work on other aspects. You know what I'm saying? So I don't. I, I think is he shouldn't fight, man. I mean, that's what I'm trying to get at, guys. I mean, okay, exhibition is one thing. Fighting, you know, in a bare knuckle, BKFC, man, with no gloves? I mean, yeah, yeah, that's dangerous. Look at his age, guys. Look at his age. I think, personally, um, a lot of people lack the care, the genuine care for fighters. I talked about this in my other video about my, uh, Manny Pacquiao should retire. I explained it. I broke it down. Me and Curtis actually broke that another aspect that we broke down, another point that we broke down in uh, my latest live with him. Um... You know, gems were broken down there. I mean, you know what I mean? And I, and I said it also in my Pacquiao video, my recent Pacquiao video about him retiring. I mean, he should retire, guys. Fighters got to know the right time to retire. You know, the world, I get it. You know, they love Tyson. I do too. He's one of my all-time favorites. I've been saying it in my channel. So, I mean, y'all know about that. But, I mean... You know, I love these guys, man. I don't want to see them get hurt. I don't want to... If he goes to BKFC with no gloves, you guys, I mean, he can also do a lot of damage to his opponents. I mean, that's another... Oof. That's, that would be crazy. I mean, that, that's a definite factor, too. But look at his age, guys. He's not in his prime. I mean, you guys... I mean, we got we to slow the train down here, man. I mean, uh, you know, okay... I made a video recently also. Go check it out my video. It's a, it's about a Joe Rogan interview. It seems like everybody's blowing that out the window and ignoring that. And it has so many views. What the heck happened to Mike? what Mike Tyson said? He explained it clearly in that interview, you guys. Go check it out. I think I'll put the link in the description of my video there. I broke it down, man. Um, Joe Rogan, okay, was interviewing Mike Tyson and, and his Joe Rose, Rogan Experience channel. I really don't watch it too much, but when it comes to boxing and stuff, I sometimes do peep in there sometimes. So it's just too long. But, um, man, he, Joe Rogan was along the lines of, 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 of um, asking Mike Tyson if he would come back to fighting. Mike Tyson was like, no, no, ego would destroy. In other words, he said ego, he was saying that explaining and describing ego would destroy him. If he had a dose of that taste of ego that he can really, that he really has it. And if he could full blown training, getting ready to combat, not for exhibition. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about like really fighting like he did before. He, you know, he was explaining how it would destroy his life. It would destroy his life. A lot of people don't care about that, man. That's what I. That's what I'm against, man. This whole movement of, oh, Mike Tyson, he can take the heavyweights, he can come back. Look at it, he's so in shape and blah blah. Shut up, man. I mean, because you all don't really care about him. You all don't really care about him getting really hurt. You know what I'm saying? I do, and I explained that. Why did I bring that Manny Pacquiao video I did recently? Because I explained that there too. You know, Mike Ty uh, Manny Pacquiao, he should have retired already a while ago. He's taken too much damage. He can get really hurt, man. So same with Mike Tyson. I don't think Mike Tyson is taking... That's the thing, though. though. There's a little difference here, though. There's a contrast. There is a contrast. Mike Tyson hasn't taken too much damage, though, in the career, in, in the career of fighting and boxing. You know, I mean, he did towards the end when he was out of his prime and started losing and stuff like that, which I personally, and I've been saying, too, I've said, I mentioned at least, that Mike Tyson should have retired before, you know, he started declining. You said, that's what I was going to say, guys. Fighters have to know the right time when to retire. You know, uh, Mike Tyson did receive some punishment, He's been knocked out and stuff, but I don't think he's received too much. So that's another factor we can consider of him possibly being able to come back full-blown combat again. I just don't think so, man. I just don't think. Especially, heavy, we're talking about heavyweights, guys. We're not talking about these light, skinny fighters, you know what I'm saying, who could take a gazillion punches in a fight. No, we're talking about heavyweights here. So I think I just think a lot of people don't really care about Mike Tyson's health and they're just getting too amused and carried away, man. I just too excited. Emotions taking over too much. You got to sit back and analyze these things, man. So, I mean, it's amazing. Yes, he looks great. Yes, but I just don't think so, you guys. And and look at, I mean, you guys, we got to read, you guys. A lot of people aren't reading. I mean, it says here, Mike Tyson, I'm a bad boy for life. Watch. Hashtag bad boys for life now on DVD. If I'm not mistaken, this was like a little clip. I don't know. I really don't. I don't watch movies, okay? Yes, I'm weird. Okay, I admit it. <laughs> I'm weird. I can care less about movies. I don't have time to sit there two and a half hours watch, sitting on my couch uh, watching a movie. It's just, it's just a waste of time, man, for me. It's just a really waste of time. I mean, I'm sorry. I mean, <laughs> I'm not saying that you guys are wasting your time. I know Netflix is booming and it's the biggest thing uh, since bread and butter, sliced butter, sliced bread, whatever you want to say, right? I mean, okay, I get it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not downplaying y'all. <laughs> I just don't have time. Even though we're on a quarantine, 
I don't have time to do that, man. <laughs> no way. No way. <laughs> but, okay, the reason why I say this is this is a, some kind of promotion or something for Bad Boys for Life. I guess it's a sequel to Bad Boys or whatever. Um, but you gotta, gotta, people got to read, man. It, this doesn't mean he's going to be coming full-blown to fighting again. Yeah, he's mentioned exhibition or whatever. So many reports coming about about him exhibition and stuff like that, fighting. Lennox Lewis coming out time also. Oh, I'm back to exhibition, whatever. And then a lot of people analyzing that. Oh, Mike Tyson's gonna, probably going to fight Lennox Lewis in an exhibition. That would be great. This and that. Sorry about the dogs in the background. That's my dogs. Y'all know. But, um, yes. Okay, but uh, you guys got to understand. Exhibition is one thing. Full-blown fighting and boxing is another. Exhibition is like sparring. So, I mean, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, Julio Cesar Chavez Sr., legend. He 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 um, he recently had some exhibitions. I covered that also on my channel. You know what I'm saying? He had a couple, which is great. You know what I'm saying? But it's not full-blown boxing, man. So, so anyways, but it did. Like, uh, Julio Cesar Chavez Sr., when he was, ex his exhibition, it was like full-blown boxing. That guy, that, that guy's a fighter, dude. I guess, I think it was with the, against the... Uh, El Travieso, I think. I, I I made the videos. Go check it out, man. Yeah, my, my memory just goes sometimes. But, man, comment below. Like, subscribe, share. Share this with the community. What do you guys think? Because I want to hear your comments. Comment below. That's my opinion, man. He shouldn't go back. I mean, that's a really enticing offer. But I think, and you know, Mike Tyson, he's doing good anyways. I don't think he really, you know, I don't think he's really looking to get richer. You know, he's doing good. He's doing well off. I think he has other business ventures and things he's doing, so I don't know. But, you know, I, he should be doing well. He's doing good. $20 million is great, but I think he should, you know, opt for those different options. Yeah, I mean, you know, watch out, man. Be careful for you know, I, I I care for his health. You got Shannon Briggs in BKFC too, guys. Yeah, come on. I got I made that video recently too. Shannon Briggs. Like I said, I cover BKFC. A lot of people don't. I do. You know what I'm saying? I cover the sport, you know? Uh, Shannon Briggs, I mean, that would be that would be dangerous. Uh, Mike Tyson and Shannon Briggs, hey, I would see it, though, but I, I would worry at the same time. Maybe you guys say, oh, you're a hypocrite. You're saying that, you know, oh, you care for them, but you would like to see them fight. Hey, that's their decision to fight, and I would like to see it. But if they did, I would see it, you know what I'm saying? But but I would care, though. I would be worried. I definitely would be worried, you know what I'm saying? I would be worried. That That's my caring aspect with them, you know? If they were to fight and see, I would watch them, but I would be quite worried, you know what I'm saying? So, but... We'll see, man. Interesting stuff. Renee Box Young, thank you so much, man. Salute from the South. Peace out, fam.